Cool, folks. So today we have the Black Devil by Donner here. Um, this is a preamp based on, you know, amp modeling based on a PV uh, 6505 rhythm channel and the lead channel. So we got the clean and rhythm channel both in the same pedal. Um, some cool things here, and we have a cab simulator as well. Low, mid, and high, level, reverb, and gain. Um, so, I'm running directly into Logic Pro my, to my computer with no other effects whatsoever, just this pedal, and that's why I have the cab sim on. Because it would sound nasty without it. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. It kind of has that kind of revolution sound from the Beatles, direct into the board kind of sound. Anyways, but with the cab sim on, we get that kind of sound, and then dirty channel, reverb is on. Um, a couple other things about this pedal. Whenever I, I set the clean channel, for example, let's put, let's put a lot of let's put some reverb in the clean channel. I should say crunch channel for this one. It's not really a clean it's a crunch channel. Um, whenever I switch now, all these settings here, I switch to the dirty channel. I could add as much reverb as I want. When I switch back to the clean, the reverb is the re reverb and all the other settings are where I s had them set originally. So you hear there's little reverb on. Back to the other channel. So you basically can make two presets for your clean and your dirty, you know, channels or whatever. So that's pretty cool and matching the levels too because the, the levels will be all over the place if you don't really do that either. So pretty cool. I mean, you can get some really different, really cool sounds out of it. Um, again, it's, it's actually... I can turn a cab sim off here and then use a different cab simulator.
another thing about this one is to turn it on and off, as you see I'm hitting the switch here, it's just switch, switching between channels. You want to hold it for two seconds, and now it's still on, you hit it off, and that's how you turn it off. And when you turn it back on, you're back on your clean channel, you have to hold it in for two seconds again to switch to the, the, the dirty channel, because it'll, otherwise it'll just go off. So again, off, on. You want to switch to the dirty channel, hold it in, now it's still on clean, and then the dirty channel. Back to clean. Hold for two seconds, then you'll turn it off. So it takes a little bit, little bit to get used to that, that, that kind of situation. But once you do, it's really cool, and recommend checking it out. They have a bunch of other ones here based on other amps and things like that. So check one out. That's all for now, and I will talk to you soon.